G'day guys, today we're gonna to do the camera. So we've already got a camera in the scene, uh, but it's got no controls. I can move it around, it's it's fixed. So we need to make a script, which is gonna handle the movement for us. So let's add a script and I'm gonna call it camera, oops, controller. And it's gonna do, I think, three different things. We wanna have a zoom. We want to have a simple pan. Now simple pan is going to be, you press the WASD key and the camera is just going to move right, left, up and down. And the final one we're going to have is going to be the click and drag. Now this is the one where I think in RimWorld is attached to the middle mouse button, you click on the screen and you can drag your way across, I think. We've actually got it here. Yeah, basically we're gonna have this. You click and you can drag the map around. So we're gonna have a WASD pan. So it's gonna go like that, A, and we're gonna have the zoom. All right, let's get to it. Oh, I need to put the click and drag function there. Okay, now first we need to set the controls for these. So we go up to project, project settings, Grab your input map and we're going to add a new action and we're going to have um, a camera, camera move up. Let's just copy that because we're going to go camera move up, camera move down, camera move left, camera move right, we have camera zoom in, camera zoom out and a camera dot pan button. So the camera move up, we're gonna attach it to the keyboard key. Uh, I'm pressing the W key now. Put the camera down, I'm gonna add the keyboard key S, 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 S. Camera move left, I'm gonna make it A. Camera move right. That will be D. Okay, my zoom in is gonna be the mouse scroll wheel up. So mouse button, and so mouse wheel up is treated like a button. So as you scroll it up, it's treated as a whole bunch of little individual key presses. Mouse zoom out, big mouse wheel down. And my camera pan, that's gonna be the button I hold to pan it, and that's gonna be the middle mouse. All right, so that's all our buttons. So what I can do now, let's do zoom first. So zoom, what we're going to do is just say if input.is action just pressed. So that will fire one time after this action is pressed. And we want camera, oops, camera, camera, zoom in. And when we've done that, what we're gonna do is just go zoom equals zoom times 1.1. So that would change both our numbers, our X and our Y. Let's give that a try. So I scroll the mouse up and every time I do, he moves in. I can't scroll out yet, so let's fix that. And so the opposite, we'll just make it 0 0.9. We can zoom in. Haha. <laughs> I can see what I just did. I just made that zoom out. There we go. So scroll wheel up, scroll wheel down, and there we go. Now, I don't know about you, I think it's a bit, I don't like it clicking in so chunkily like that. So there's a little trick we can do. Instead of moving it directly, we're going to move a secondary number. Let's call it zoom target. And it's gonna be a vector two. Sorry, not like that. It's gonna be a vector two. And at the start, we'll just make it the same as the current zoom. And here's what we're gonna do. Instead of changing the zoom, we're gonna change the zoom target. And I'm gonna so let's change this one.
There we go. And then what we're going to do is every time we want to make the actual zoom slowly, well, not too slowly, but like gradually move towards the zoom target. And the way we do that is with a slurp. So we just go zoom dot slurp and we set the target, zoom target. And the final number is the weight. The weight is like the speed that we're just going to do it. So let's set it to one at the start. And we actually have to say zoom equals that number as well. So let's just see how that works. So it still looks exactly the same. That means we're doing it too quickly. So if I make that, let's say 0 0.1, and you see now I do it and it sort of gradually moves in. It's still quick. I'll make it really slow just to accentuate what's happening so you can see. See that? that that's just one click. I'll do one click in and you see how it does that. Now what it does is not a linear movement. It speeds up when it's far away and slows down when it gets close. So you get this beautiful sort of smooth move and a slow stop. If you want it to be perfectly linear, there's one called that. If that's called lerp. We're going to do slurp. And I'm going to make it one, but the problem I've got here, which you haven't, you wouldn't notice doing this right now, you know, you actually may, you may find on your computer, it's going a little bit faster, or a little bit slower. And that's because process just runs as quickly as it can, as many times per second as it can. And so if we, so if your computer is running faster, this is going to move further. If your computer is running slower, it's going to run less. That's why we've got this delta here. What delta is, is a fraction of basically how many times this is running per second. So I'm going to pass that through to zoom. And we just basically go multiplied by delta. So if you're running 60 times a second, that's going to be 0 0.02. I hope that math is right. And that just locks you in. So this will always be the same no matter how fast the computer is running. So let's try that at 10. Yeah, it's quite good. It's snappy but it's smooth. You can see if I move it to a quick move, that's way smoother, beautiful. All right, I'm satisfied with that. Um, we can also just, what might be a good idea is actually expose that as well. So export zoom speed, and let's just make it 10. It's a float. And we'll just put that in instead of that 10 there. Oops, of course, variable zoom speed. So now if you're not happy with it, you can click on your camera and you can fiddle with it here. And of course, now that that's exposed, we can probably even do it in your settings menu, which you'll probably do if you make a real game. All right, so that's the zoom. Zoom is happy. Let's do the simple pen, the WASD. So this is one that seems simple. You just say, if the action is pressed, um, camera, move, let's, let's do right first. That's connected to my D. And we're just going to go position dot x plus equals one. Let's try that. You can see when I, I'm going to press D and you see it moves a tiny bit, but that's it. I press it and moves once. I press it and moves once. And it's because when we run, is action just pressed? It only fires if the action was just pressed. If you want it to keep firing, is action pressed. So that's every time the button, while the button is hold down, this will keep going. So let's try that one now. And I'm going to hold down the D key. And that's not bad. And so what we'll do is we'll do that for all of them. So for left, obviously, we're going to move to the minus. up, down, it's going to move us on Y, let's give that a try, so I press D, A, W, S, ah, so W is moving me down, W and S are reversed, so let's just fix that, Okay, W, A, sorry, W, D, S, A, and I can zoom out. 
And there's one problem with it right now, and that is when I'm zoomed in, it's quite fast. But when I'm zoomed out, it's super duper slow. And it's because we're sort of moving in the world. So we're moving sort of one square per whatever it is. And so when we're zoomed in, actually this is still a bit slow, even zoomed in, but it gets super duper slow when you're zoomed out. So what we're gonna do is do sort of the same thing we did with having a zoom target. Let's have var move target. It's gonna start as a vector 2.0. Sorry, let's not move target, let's make it the move amount. So the amount we're gonna move each time. And so we'll just replace all those positions. Now one thing I'm gonna do before we apply it is we're gonna go move amount equals move amount dot normalized. Now if you're not familiar with that, what that's going to do is right now, if we move just up, we're gonna move sort of one per second up or one unit per whatever up. If we go right, it's gonna move right that speed. But if you go up and right, we're gonna be moving faster than that. So what normalize does, if you can imagine, I'm gonna to have to draw a picture of this, aren't I? So if you imagine your vector here and here, so this middle here is zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, minus one, zero, and zero, minus one. So if you're moving all the way to the right, you're moving to this position, let me do a different color. You're moving here. If you're moving just up, you're moving here. But if you're pressing W and D moving across, right, you're moving here. And you can see the line from here to here is longer. So the amount you're moving each moment is longer. What normalize does is basically enforces this circle. Well, I drew that really badly. It enforces this circle. So this guy gets cut back to here. So your distance from here to here is always gonna be one. The distance from here to here is one. Distance from here to here is one. So normalize just makes sure that distance is one. So if you had a vector, which was say here, what normalize does is it goes, right, I'm gonna cut, oops, I'm gonna cut that. And your vector is now here. So the direction stays the same. The magnitude is different. All right, now that we know that, we just go position plus equals move amount. And why am I calling it move? It should be pan amount. No, let's keep it like that. And let's apply our delta as well. So let's go back, have delta pass through to our simple pan and through our process. Let's give that a quick try. So we haven't actually changed anything yet. That should give us pretty much the same result except for the normalized. What about that? Sorry, zero is all capitals. So W, W, and that's gonna be quite slow. So let's just multiply that by like a thousand for now. That'll be our pan speed, our move speed. And there we go. All right, so once again, if we zoom out, you see it sort of is much slower. But when you're zoomed in, it's super duper fast. So let's fix that. And the way we do that is we just multiply it by one divided by zoom.x. Zoom.x, because zoom is a vector two, we only need one of those numbers, both the x and the y are the same. You could just as easily go zoom.y. And let's see how that works. So when I'm zoomed in, it's moving that speed. When I'm zoomed out. So the camera is still moving sort of the same speed if we're talking about pixels. But compared to the world, it moves much more finely when we get close. So that's a nice WASD pen. All right, that's that one done. So finally, we just need to do our click and drag. So what we need to do first is when we click it, we're gonna to need to remember where the mouse was and where the camera was when we clicked. So bar, drag, start, mouse, position. And we just define that as a vector two for now. Drag, start, camera position. And we're just gonna remember are we currently dragging? 
defaulted to false. So first, we're going to define what happens when we're not dragging. So if not dragging and input dot get action just sorry not get is action just pressed and it's going to be the camera pen oh my gosh oh, there we go and if we do that what we're going to do is the drag start mouse position we're going to go get the viewport and get the mouse position we're going to grab the camera position which is just drag start camera position equals position whoops not positions within just position and we're going to go is dragging equals true so we are now dragging all right and we're just going to make the part which turns that off so if we is dragging and input dot is action just not pressed released so when we release the camera pan button then we just go is dragging it was false and now the actual panning is going to happen here so if we is dragging then we're going to make a move vector to work out our movement direction oops i've got an extra g in there so our move vector equals get viewport get mouse position so we're getting the current mouse position we're minusing from that the mouse position when we started so we're remembering where we were when we started we're looking at where we are now that's the direction we're moving and then our position our new position equals drag start camera position minus that move vector so we're moving from our original camera position along this vector and then we're just going to make it adjust to the zoom as well so we just do that same one divided by zoom dot x and if i've thought of everything why is this giving me an error sorry it's not not dragging it's is dragging there we go so let's give that a try so i click the mouse button the middle mouse button here and now i can drag if i zoom out it still works if i zoom in it still works if i'm dragging and i zoom at the same time that works as well so that's it we've got to zoom in we've got to zoom out we can pan with wasd which changes with the zoom and we can also just drag as well all right the only thing i haven't put on yet is the mouse move uh, which I just really don't like, so I'm not going to add that one. So I'm not going to have the edge of the mouse moving on this one. If you really want that, ask me and I, I might add a little bonus for it. Uh, but yeah, I didn't use that one, so I'm not going to put it in. All right, guys, that's how we make our little RTS style, RimWorld style camera. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.